One more question. Let me let me ask about media. Any questions on the media? All right. Oh, there we go. Okay, Sylvia, we're here. Go ahead. Uh, and I'll, uh, perhaps I'll repeat your questions to the to the uh, folks who are here too. All right. Since we don't have a uh, high, high tech speaker device here, but we'll 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 work on that. Go ahead. Uh, tell me. Yes. I'll tell you about two huge tax cuts, or two huge cuts and expenditures that are, I, I believe, are very important. And uh, Sylvia Smith, who's on the phone here from Washington, uh, was asking about uh, uh, means of cutting expenditures at the federal level. You know, I've had a, I've been a medical doc, and I've always believed that all Americans, in one way or another, need to have, uh, to have uh, basic affordable health care. And uh, one, uh, there are a couple principles or a couple uh, factors out there, a couple expenditures in healthcare in our nation that are, I think, driving costs way up. Pharmaceutical costs and also the involvement of health insurance companies at the federal level. So uh, with, regard to, uh, uh, with regard to federal expenditures, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we need to make sure insurance companies with any involvement that they have in federal healthcare, and frankly, I think this needs to apply to, to uh, private health care as well. We need, we need to make sure those health insurance companies are competing vigorously. They have something like 20% overhead. Uh, the private health insurance industry has something like, or health insurance delivered through health insurance companies has something like 20% overhead right now as opposed to 5%, 4 or 5% overhead for Medicare. See all sorts of numbers, those are at least common numbers. The problem is there are monopolies and duopolies in, you know, in the, in the health, health insurance system. We need to we need to revise our state and federal laws to basically make sure that the that the health insurance companies compete very vigorously against one another. I think that'll drive te drive tens of billions of, uh, of dollars of expenditures out of the system. The other thing I think we need to do is to make sure, for instance, that uh, Medicare tells uh, pharmaceutical companies if you want to provide medications either under uh, Medicare uh, Medicare Part D that goes back to 03 or the, the new health care law, if you want to provide medications to, uh, to uh, citizens who are covered by any of these plans, uh, you, you, have to, you have to bid for the right to do that. You're not going to get a, uh, a nice cushy uh, contract for medications, for instance, for uh, Medicare, uh, folks on Medicare Part D, in case I said B, I apologize, for Medicare Part D, you're not going to get that automatically. You're going to have to bid for the right to provide medications to folks on Medicare or any other segment of uh, public, uh, public health insurance. And the, the VA does that right now. Veterans Administration says, uh, uh, and they found they can save uh, billions of dollars of pharmaceutical expenditures by requiring pharmaceutical companies to bid for the right to provide medications to vets. We need to make sure that, uh, that pharmaceutical companies are required to bid for the right to provide pharma uh, pharmaceuticals to folks on Medicare Part D, and I think that would drive many, many billions of dollars uh, of cost savings as well. Sylvia, I'm going to hang on and talk with you a little bit one-on-one, -on -one, like I'm going to talk with uh, any of the other media people here, not that there are many left at this point, but uh, be, uh, I'll, I'll make a point to do that, and uh, for, right as we wind down here today, talk with you, and uh, there are some media folks here. We'll do that in order, and then I'll uh, walk around, hang out with everybody while they're eating their donuts or whatever munchies we have back there today. So thanks everybody for being here today. Appreciate it very much, and uh, appreciate your support. We're going to win on November 2nd. Yeah.